Okay, hello and welcome back to Game Soup. This is episode uh, two, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> it has to be two. It has to be two. So one, we've only done one before. We just defeated the uh, Hammer Bros here. We got ourselves a little hammer. Picked up a hammer. MC Hammer. So let's go ahead and head into the Mushroom Kingdom here. All right, I love this world map, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's very well done. Yeah, a lot of the art in this game is really spectacular. Yeah, they used they made hmm. 3D models and and then made the sprites out of the 3D models. So that's how they get this kind of look. If you didn't know, yeah, you know, a lot of people know, but some people don't. I don't think uh, I don't think any other game on the SNES looks as good, except for maybe the Donkey Kong Country series. This guy's looking for his wallet here. Yeah. All right. Well, and there's this troll lady. Ready? Look what you're standing in. First time I got to this part, when I was a little kid, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, you couldn't figure it out. I thought the game froze. Yeah, yeah that sucks. Not yeah, really you just smart. have to jump there. Yeah, oh, she makes you think uh, you're standing cool. in dog do, <laughs> do, do. All right. So oh. we haven't warned anybody yet, but this uh, this series might not be. We might say some mean stuff and we might swear. Well, we're going to swear probably at some point. Almost certainly. So. If you have kids in the house or, or uh, you know, you get offended by things, we say mean stuff sometimes. So, you know, just be careful. Or don't watch it, I mean, if you're, if you're offended by that kind of stuff. I mean, I, I, I don't think people will be offended. Most people aren't. Nah. Uh, okay. Uh, Mario can't wear pants. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, that's only for another character named Mallow. Who appears later? Spoilers, spoilers. Oh, also, there's this guy back here. Oh, we're not supposed to say stuff like that. No, I'm just kidding. I, don't I guess care. that doesn't really. It doesn't matter. You see him in the intro. Yeah, that's true. All right. Croco, Croco. I'm not going to spoil. No I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, Mario dies in this game. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Oh, do you know how to get the uh, hidden block here? No. No. <laughs> I've only played this game seven times before. I believe. <sighs> That wasn't it. I missed it. It's okay. Sir Mario has arrived. And this is the Chancellor. We're in the Mario... The uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. The Mario Kingdom. <laughs> the Mushroom Kingdom. I guess I should stop skipping the, through this text. I see this. Yeah, he's like, excuse me, where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. Hours? I wonder how long it takes to get there. I mean, you gotta go through Mushroom Wake. <laughs> you gotta go through the most dangerous place in the kingdom <laughs> to get there. I fear the worst. And I would expect something that to take happened, hours. Happened to her. And here's Mario explaining what what happened. He can somehow <laughs> turn into a big turtle and also a woman <laughs> to explain what's happening. So it's up to okay. us. Okay, so we gotta enter the keep and rescue Toadstool. But we can't get there because of the bridge. Mm hmm. A big problem there. And of course we got Exor there. And we won't oh, be my able to get age. in. <laughs> I'm gonna take that one back. That wasn't a funny joke. You can't take it back. No, we gotta have take backs on jokes. There's no take backs, no editing. The keep is unassailable. What kind of power is at work here? Well, uh, normally I'd say Bowser, but it's pretty clear that it's not Bowser this time. But still, our goal is to save the princess. So let's go ahead. Oh, never mind. I almost forgot. This may not help you, but why don't you take it along? Scissors. No, got a map. Mario. Got a trip to the hospital. <laughs> Forgive me, I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cellar and prepare for your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. Yeah, you get a bunch of good items. Yeah. In the cellar here. Now, if I were a king, I'd probably keep liquor in my cellar, but maybe, you know, maybe this, this chancellor is a little bit different. Now, I, I I heard there's something secret around here. Is it... Oh, we're not... Nah, nah, he's fine. He's probably not doing anything suspicious. I thought there was a secret item around here somewhere. I think there is. I think it's in a corner. This corner? Maybe... Uh, maybe I have to jump on the table. Uh, if only we had a strategy guide to use. <laughs> I think we might have one. It's right now to your left. Right there. 
You have like you have like 18 books on your bookshelf, and one of them is the Super Mario RPG Strategy Guide yeah. by uh, Brady Games. But, well, Let's see if we can find this bad boy. It's only the best for, for you, Brady Games. So this mushroom is going to restore hit points and flower points. Uh, so it's kind yeah, of a cure all, which is really good when you're. Are <laughs> you really going to use a strategy guide? Nah. No, we should. We should. Did you? Uh... And uh, Let's see. So oh, this is a flower. So this is going to give us plus one uh, permanent battle flower points, uh, which is going to let us use jump and and things like that uh, in battle more frequently. And of course, this is a big coin, so it's worth ten small ones. Uh, and as you can see here in the uh, bottom right corner, we got sixteen coins. Uh, we're a little money bags here. We got some money. No, we don't actually have that money. We'll have to get some. Let's get some real money. So let's go ahead and uh, chat with this this nice thing. Is it a lady or a man or princess hasn't returned? Can you imagine how the chancellor feels? Well, if I were him, oh, what do you think you're doing? I'll give you this in exchange. What do you think that was? You know about that? Got got peaches? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Oh yeah, well, wasn't that something uh, in the, the Japanese version that they changed it in this one? I think in the Japanese version it was Peach's XXX. <laughs> what, what is that? Uh, what is that implying? I don't know. I don't think it's ever, uh, it's ever stated specifically. Left ambiguous, maybe. That was, was that the secret that we were looking for? No. Because there's no map in here that shows everything. We're looking at Mushroom Castle... And there's a, a bunch of numbers here. This is the worst guide I've yeah, ever... Yeah, this is a really bad guide. Yeah. I can't figure this out. Toadstool's room, search next to the fireplace. Got that one already. Princess's grandmother gives it to you in exchange. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, she gives you a mushroom. There's treasure room, chancellor's chambers. I don't know. Oh, Mallow. Maybe it doesn't say anything. Maybe there isn't anything else in there. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in there. It doesn't say right. anything. So this is where you meet Mallow. Poor Mallow. It's amazing that he has the power to cry and make everything rain, huh? Wish I had that ability in real life. Nothing like a good cry, you little baby. Why were they crying? That croc. A crocodile of some kind. Mm. So, st so he stole his coin. Let's see how you're going to take care of that, Bowser. Well, uh, I'm mashing the A button here. Nothing's happening, so I guess the game froze. I'll go ahead and restart it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You just have to jump there. You just there. have to jump. If you ever think the game froze up, if you ever think Super Mario RPG has frozen up, if your old copy has frozen up, you just want to jump. 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 How many times did I say is your copy frozen up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? Yeah, let's go after Croco, huh? young frog he's a frog if you didn't know that right mallow is a frog he's nothing else just a regular regular frog yeah all right so uh before we head out uh, let's see we got 16 coins oh i know what we should do we should give him some pants <laughs> yeah um even though it looks like he's already wearing some but let's give him some other some more pants there we go yeah mallow we're Mallow wears pants, Mario wears shirts, and other characters wear different things. They each only have one equipment. You get a weapon, an equipment, and an accessory. That's it. So. Yeah, which is enough. Weapons, damage, equipment, defense. All right. And there's a, there's a hidden flower, and accessories give you some effect, usually. So that's how that works. Now, you know there is a... Uh, here it is. Check this out. Oh yeah, if you like ride on that guy's head for long enough, he'll uh, he'll... I believe it's... There it is. Oh, you, you remember all this stuff. Yeah. You got a good brain. So we got a good brain in that head. We got a little... Got a good head in that brain. We got a little flower tab there. Yeah, so you use these um, items and they increase your total flower points, which is basically your magic points in this game. Yeah. And then it increases it permanently. Does it refill all of them, too, when you use it? It does, yeah. So is that why you're holding that flower tab? Mm -hmm. In case we need it later? Yeah, yeah I think we'll idea. need it for our, uh, our jumps. So, yeah, especially right. with how much we're going to be doing the jumps. So here we're talking to the shop owner, and he's telling him he's, this is the guy he's supposed to be exchanging the coin with. Well, we lost the frog coin. So it looks like that's not going to happen. 
But I think we can get it back if we manage to defeat Croco. And he gives us a pick me up, which, which is some kind of liquor, I think. <laughs> I, I it's a uh, it's like a phoenix down in this game if you play the Final Fantasy games. Did you see him? Well, I didn't see him. Did he look something like? I don't, I don't know, know how Mario yeah, can do that. Uh, he's really special, I guess. I don't know. Sheesh. I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh. Come back here. Oh, there he is. There he is. And there's Croco. Those mugs will never catch me. <laughs> Snug it out. <laughs> run, you morons. Later. Morons. That's a good word. Idiots. Losers. Morons. It's another good insult. Flabbergasty. Flabbergasty. What's a flabbergasty? It's a really good insult, I think. Is it someone who's uh, easily flabbergasted? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's definitely a, a derogative term. Uh, I wouldn't say it to my uh, my most hated uh, enemies. My most hated crocodile. <laughs> Isn't that a TV show? Most, most hated, hated crocodiles? crocodiles? Are you trying to tell me? Go home the mommy before you get hurt, kid. All right, so uh, so he has, a, he has sort of a mobster type of accent here. I guess so. that's what they're going for with this, with this translation. Who did the translation in this game? Mm -hmm. Good old Woods, Woodsley? Uh, Ted Woolsey? I don't know if it was Ted Woolsey. It's not terrible enough? <laughs> <laughs> it's not terrible. No, no, I think this game has a, a fine translation. What do you think? Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah, I think it's very good. It's, uh, well done. Well done on that jump Thanks. as well. Wow, at least timed attacks, really. Thanks. Impressive. <laughs> well, you know, I do practice. All right, we got a mushroom, a little bit of experience. So I'm hoping we can get Mallow to, what is he, level two now, right? I'm hoping we can get him to level three before we fight Croco. Are we using the, are we saving? Yeah, we're gonna save. Uh, I just uh, like to live on the edge, that's all. Yeah, really, yeah, the, on the edge in the, the second area. Yeah. We were living on the edge in the hacked version that I promised I wouldn't mention again. Well, Apparently we were living on the edge uh, in that by trying to fight the Hammer Brothers, or Hammer Brother, with with only level two. Yeah, it was kind of a strange battle. Personally, I'm glad that we uh, switched to the regular version of the game. Yeah, me too. That hack was just kind of, uh, I don't know. Maybe not there you go. Before. There we go. There you go. There's a block for you. Chop your block off. <laughs> I was thinking it. All right. So let's see here. I'm gonna go so this is safe. this is kind of the first decent length area in the game. Yeah. I don't know if you want to call it a dungeon, it's a little it's a little happy. This game's overall really cheerful. And you know it's got Croco, who's really I mean arguably the first uh, moderately. Even, you know, even moderately challenging boss in the game. Yeah, it's the first one with any kind of real mechanics. I guess this is goodbye. Not really, barely mechanics, but something. Uh, I don't think we're going to let him get away. I think we're going to be able to catch up with him at some point. Um, Doesn't he say something about oh. a pumpkin here? Oh, that's that's later on, I think, <laughs> in a couple screens. So, all right, so we got these platforms here and these crazy dogs. What are, this? What are they called? Uh, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have missed. Canines. K9. KG. Oh, K9. KG. Yeah, the difference between a 9 and a G. Like the KGB, right? What the hell is that? No. Some, like, uh, some Nazi thing? Oh, it is. No. No, we're, uh, we're a hate group here. Right? This is a hate show, isn't it? But that's why you, that's why you invited me to do this, right? Because this is a hate show? Well, who do we hate? <laughs> uh, Nazis. <laughs> oh, shouldn't we hate Nazis? Yeah, it's a real, and we picked a real, we picked a real challenging one, a real popular one. Yeah. I mean, hate, we didn't, we didn't pick a, something to Boy, hate. you a precision brother. We could have picked, you know, we could have picked, uh, blacks, Asians, or any race, or we could have picked women. We could have hit half the population. I like to hate, but no, let's just, let's just pick Nazis. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, all the other things, uh, I, yeah, I, I don't, don't have a problem them. with them. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah I, I like them. So we hate Nazis, so if you're a Nazi, you know, you might not want to watch this. You might get insulted by some of the things we say about you. you know, and, uh, I hope you, uh, take it to heart. And we're coming for you. <laughs> Nazis, yeah. So, uh, H.C. Bailey, if you're, if you were, if you're a Nazi, we're, we're coming for you twice. Twice, once because once because you're H.C. Bailey, and another time uh, because you're you're a Nazi. I don't like you. Well, 
I mean, I, I like you being HC Bailey. I just I'm not sure about the whole Nazi thing. Yeah, if you are that. Which it, it seems like you aren't, but I mean, you never know who's a Nazi these days, you know? It's hard to tell. Thunderbolt. So this one has really weird timing. You have to hit it near the end of the Thunderbolt, not when it actually makes that. Oh. The thunder sound. That attack is pretty hard to dodge. Can you dodge it? Uh, I think you can, yeah. Hmm. A little challenging, though. Alright, we got a honey syrup. Ooh, what do you think's in that box over there? A treasure chest. Uh, do you want me to tell you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what's in it. It's but, a star. Uh, it is a star. Yeah, give it up already. That treasure box is tempting, but now is not the time. Wrong. Yeah, stars are really cool in Wrong. this game. You feel so powerful when you get a star in this. Because, you know, you gotta, you gotta fight all these guys individually, but when you get the star, you just bypass all that. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure how the experience scales between doing the actual battle and just running into these guys. I don't think it's one for one. Was that two level ups? Is that one for each guy, I guess? I think each of our characters gain one level. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of level ups. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of dead wolves. Dead wolves. So, all right. Fire, fire orb. orb. It's not bad. I'll take that. So you can throw fire like a fire flower. You're pretty familiar with that. Yeah. If you played these uh, Mario games. So these are all... So, uh, yeah, we're probably going to want POW here, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think POW is the way to go. That gives you two instead of just one. And three hit points is... It's a kind of a big deal now, but later in the game it doesn't scale well. So taking hit points doesn't really matter. But the other, the other things scale. Yeah. So hit points is something you generally want to take later in the game when it's actually harder. So here, Mallow sucks at fighting. Yeah, so we're not sure. Let's see, what else do we have? Hit points. Hit points are uh, decent, I Four. guess. It's not that much. And then you've got special. Just one. Which is just one. Now, Mallow, usually you want to take special, but he's um, only, that's only one. So, I don't know, we could go, we could go power, hit points, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Uh, let's, let's go pow. All right, we'll go pow, yeah for Mallow, but generally, you don't want to take Pal for Mallow. Nah. But this early, he's going to be doing some, some a decent amount of normal attacking, so it'll help us get through the beginning of the game. And we're not real anal retentive about, we're not going to min-max the game or anything. So it doesn't really matter what we take. Yeah, this game doesn't really uh, lend itself to so min-maxing that well anyway. Not really. It's just a fun game. So if you're looking for somebody who's going to speedrun or min-max the game, then you're not looking in the right place. So take that. H.C. Bailey. <laughs> We're, we're, uh, <laughs> we're not coming for you. No, we're not coming for you. So, all right. So this is our, uh, our going to be our final encounter with Croco here. But uh, before that, uh, I think it's maybe about time to sure. uh, cut off to the next episode. So what we're going to do is cut it off here, and uh, we'll meet you back here at the next episode. So once again, this is Game Soup. Uh, what's this episode two? I can't even remember. Yeah, this is episode two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll see you back here for uh, the demise of Croco here. Goodbye. Bye.